Hi guys, I'm Kelly Walters. I'm one of the educators here with Stalls TV and today we are going to go over a topic that is dear to my heart. And today we're going to be discussing on how to decorate a thick jacket that's perfect for the construction world. Now, let me just preface this that I have a husband that works in excavation. If you don't know what that is, that is dirt work. And being out in the field, talking to different types of businesses, some people always question, how do I decorate that thick of a jacket? How do I even sell or market that type of jacket? Because they typically lean to be on the higher price. Now today I'm going to show you a couple of products that I recommend for a very thick jacket. This one is specifically made by the brand Cornerstone, but a lot of people just call them Carhartt jackets. So if you don't know what we're talking about, just Google Carhartt and the perfect picture will probably pop up. Now with these type of jackets, they are thick. There is a quilted and almost like blanket like material on the inside of the jacket. And then you also have a really thick but soft canvas like material on the outside. There's texture. They are meant to be durable. They are meant to last the weather elements from snow to rain to mud to dirt uh, to cold temperatures. They are meant to protect the person wearing them. So we're going to show you how to decorate it and heat apply and then show you the finished product. Rather than watching all this weeding, I'm going to give you the information you've been needing to grow your t-shirt business. You need to subscribe to Stalls TV. So make sure you subscribe, click that notification bell, and you'll get fresh content just like this delivered to your inbox every week. Now back to our video. So the first logo we are going to be using is our thermofilm material. Now this is the back design. It could have been a little bit bigger but overall we are at 10 and a half inches in length okay i've already got our time set to 330 we will apply and tack the first color for five seconds and then we will go in for the final color which would be white and full fully press at eight seconds now this is a warm peel um, but i actually like to per pull it at hot so if hot you feel like you're having some issues let it cool down just a smidge and pull at warm now we are using a 16 by 20 platen and at this point I don't need any type of accessory because we are going to be using the back. Now I'm just going to drape this over. Like I said, this is the first logo we're going to be using. I'm just going to peel away the white, fold this guy in half to find my center point. And now most of the time, um, well, let me rephrase that. I don't know if my husband ever wears the hood on his jacket. He's a beanie guy. But if you want to make sure that if the hood is down, that you do want to see most of your logo, go ahead and flip that hood back. But I am going to pull it up just a little bit. Now, in this particular case, there isn't really a tag to go off of, so I am just going to do my best to center right down the panel of the hood. And then of course with this um, material in the back that allows you to hang it. Now again, like I said, this is really, really thick material. And even though thermofilm does have a tacky carrier, if you're noticing you're having some lift, feel free to use some thermo tape and just lightly tack down your logo. I'm gonna go ahead and do that just because I don't want this thing to move. Um, I just used the, the middle piece to keep it down. I am going to put my cover sheet over it. And then, all right, so it went ahead and adjusted my time to eight seconds. That's okay, this material is extremely thick. 
Now, like I said, it is a warm to hot peel. This is still very hot. And up next will be our second layer of the white. And because it's our final press, I'm going to go ahead and just adjust my time to eight seconds. That way we're fully cooking the top material as well. Now, if you need to go ahead and press again, if you have any type of lines because you have done two materials, I'm noticing I've got just a little bit of a texture change there. So I'm just going to go down press one more time. I really only needed to do that for about two seconds. And now you can see the two color back is completely done. So this is great. It's going to wash great. It's durable. It's very um, abrasion resistant. Of course, making sure that the logo is perfect for your customer is very, very important. So with whatever material you're using, I would definitely just test sections to make, you don't get, make sure you don't get scorching. And if you're able to lower the temperature and find the correct settings, make sure you wash test and definitely keep washing to keep checking for that durability. All right, you guys, I'm Kelly Walters and I will see you next time. Bye-bye.